Yo guys, welcome to another YouTube video with Tank Reboot today, and today I want to sit here and talk about a little bit of the new Cold War uh, modern vehicles in World of Tanks console, and we're going to go over how much each tank at each tier, I'm going to call them tiers, instead of calling them levels, um, and how much they each cost of each tier. So, yeah, let's hopefully we get into the video, and one other thing. I'm not going to talk, talk about the upgrades or anything like that, so yeah, let's get into the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. First tier is tier 11. You get the American M46A1 pattern. It costs zero credits, of course. The beginning of the tank or this new area um, alignment costs you zero credits, of course. It's going to cost you zero. Next tier is the M47 pattern, which is a tier 12 medium tank. Uh, this tank is at tier 12. It looks beautiful. Looks like a nice, sexy, uh, medium tank for the Americans. I'm probably going to enjoy this because I am. I do want to play up this line, so that was good. Next tank is the M24 Traffy at tier 12. M24 Traffy 53. I'm sorry for that. It costs 3,460,000 credits. Same thing with the M47 Patton. Um, how's this thing going to play at tier 12? Twelve, I don't know because it is going to see two tiers higher than so we'll we'll see what this thing can do. Don't know how this thing is going to do at this tier. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully it can do some good. I mean, I'm probably going to pick it up no matter what because it's a pattern. I mean, next tank is the M41A1 Walker Bulldog, which is tier thirteen, costs four million three hundred and eighty thousand credits. Uh, this machine is actually there's another tank like this in the original American Tech Tree, which is a tier eight American light tank. This machine is pretty cool. I love this machine. I am going to think about playing on this machine line, but I'm also going to think about playing on the Abrams line as well. Next tank is the M48 A5 P1 Patton, four million three hundred eighty thousand credits for this medium main battle tank. Yeah, pretty pricey, but you're going to come to love these prices. Next tank is the M60. It costs five million four hundred thousand credits. Um, at this tier, this is I think where it's serving to more meat into the American main bow tank alignments. And uh, if I'm correct, yes, it does get a I think a 105 mil gun. Um, but the tank is originally equipped with with that nice little frontal piece there. I love it. Next tank is the T92. We actually have three versions of this tank in the game. We have two premiums, which is tier 8 light tanks for the Americans. The one called the Falcon T92, and the other one's called just a T92. This one is the T92 58. It costs 5,400,000 credits. Each tier of these tanks, as you can tell, is just different tiers. Next tier, oh, um, tank mitts I once I'm done doing this <laughs> I'm just showing you the tiers at uh, the ranges and stuff but the next tank is the M113 five million four hundred thousand credits for this machine and this is the first tank destroyer of this lineup um it's based upon the chassis of the hull of a M113 APC American armor personnel carrier with the tow launcher on it, a recruit's rifle on board that machine. Pretty awesome. I'm, I'm definitely gonna pick this machine up because I like the M113 APCs. They're pretty cool looking. I was wondering how Wargaming was going to introduce this tank to the game. Next tank is the M60A1 um, medium tank or main bow tank. Six million and three hundred and twenty thousand credits for this tank. Again, this tank looks beautiful. How it looks. And stuff. Just look how shape for the hall is. Pretty well sloped. I'm not the best, but I'm betting these things are gonna be pretty much beast when they're home down as well. Another tank is the Sheraton, the M551 Sheraton. It costs six million three hundred and twenty thousand credits. And this is tier fifteen, are the guys? Because the other ones was tier 14, the M16 itself. Yeah. 
um, this machine, we already have this tank in the game as well, at tier 10 for the American Light Tanks. Um, it's a tier 10 American Light Tank, along with the M60 tank too, we have the M60 at tier 10 premium. Then the next tier, which is tier 16, the M60A3. It costs us tier 7,230,000 credits for this main battle tank, or medium tank. Yeah. You can start telling that they're going to get a little bit more price here, uh, but the tier 15 is the same price almost as tier 10. Next tank is the M60A2 Starship, which costs 7,230,000 credits. Again, I I'm probably going to love this tank because I love it on Armored Warfare, which I could do more videos for Armored Warfare on console, but I just can't uh, because of how it is. But that thing does get 152 mil derp. So that's going to be fun playing this machine at this tier um, 16. Next tank is the Stingray. It costs 7,230,000 credits for this American uh, light tank. It gets 105 mil gun I'm believing it does. Like I said, I'm not going completely over the stats of each tank or even the guns. I'm just showing you what the tanks look like and telling you how much they are going to cost. And maybe you can make up your plan as if you want to go down the modern tanks or not. So, yeah. As you tell, this tank looks beautiful and now I'm going to love it as well. But this, I remind you, this is tier 16 so now we're moving into the next tier which is tier 17 which is the stingray 2 is the next light tank we're going to sit here and look at this tank looks beautiful again i think this tank gets a 105 mil gun i could be wrong about that but like i said this is ain't a full broke down review of each of these tanks this will just tell you how much the tanks cost and the price ranges but none of the upgrades, it's just the price ranges for the tanks themselves and stuff like that because I don't have the price ranges beside the names and stuff for most of these other tiers, but this is tier 17 and first, main battle tank for this line, the actual main battle tank is the M1 Abrams which the Stingray 2 in the M1 is going to cost you 8,250,000 credits uh, this line of tier 7 is look how beautiful and sexy that tank is Next tank is the M1A1 Abrams, which is going to cost you 9,170,000 credits. And this is where it starts getting the 120 mil gun because the M1 gets 105. Yeah, I know a good bit about my Abrams. And look how beautiful this tank is. I love how they add so much in detail to this main battle tank. It does. I might actually start grinding on this line pretty soon. I, maybe once I'm done grinding through the Italian medium tank, heavy tanks. Next tank would be the M3A2 Bradley, which again costs 9,170,000 credits for this machine. It gets this chain auto loading cannon, and I'm guessing it's going to get the tow launcher because it does have it up there on the turret. It's going to be fun to play this machine, I know that. Last tank of the light tanks for America is the M8AGS. 9,170,000 credits for this American light tank. You can tell you it has some space armor on the turret right there on the sides and stuff. But I, this is a light tank so I don't expect it to bounce too many shelves and stuff. But yeah it's gonna be fun playing this tank too. Uh, all these new light tanks they're gonna be pretty fun to play I must say doing around the battlefield. Last but not least the last going to be the last tier is tier 19. The M1A2 Abrams which is the most expensive tank in this lineup, 10 million and 90,000 credits. This is actually 4,000 more than what a tier 10 tank will cost in the World War II era. That's right, tier 10 tanks usually cost nearly 6 million credits, and this tank costs 10 million, so 4, 4 million more credits uh, to get this tank. And that's the top tier tank for the Western Alliance, and I must say that all these things look pretty and I think I'm going to keep them all in my garage. Let's talk about the Eastern Alliance tanks. The first tank is the T-44A. Costs you zero credits. Of course, it's the tank that you start out with in this lineup. As you tell, it does. Next tank is the T-54. Yeah, T-54. 
it basically said 1944, 1945, 1949, tier 12 Russian tank. 3 million credits and 3,460,000 for this tank. Again, it's to, it's if you actually heard what I said about all the other tanks, it's going to cost the same range. Let's talk about the next tank, the Object 165, which is tier 13. It's going to cost you 4,380,000 4, credits for this main, main bow tank or main tank. Um, I mean, I know they designated the main bow tanks like the American Abrams as heavy tanks in the game. So I'm just going to call the main bow tanks. I think it's more the same pro MBTs. There we go. More easier, more simpler. But look how beautiful this is too. Low profile, very sneaky stinks. Next tank is the T62, which is the tier 14, 5,400,000 credits for this main battle tank. As you can tell, it looks beautiful and sexy at the same time. And yeah, this, these tanks are just going to be wonderful to play up and try to play them and grind for these new tanks. I'm probably going to love this. Hugely love them. Next tank is the first main battle tank for the Russians, or I guess heavy tanks. At the T-72A, which costs 6,320,000 credits, which is tier 15. Uh, you can tell this is, is more of a Russian style of tanks. Um, because of the low profileness, the rounded turns, and the sloped frontal armor on this main battle tank. Look how sexy these tanks look though. I am going to be grinding down both the eastern and the western side alliances. The next tank is a T-72AV, 7,230,000. This is where it's starting to, you can see it, it's starting to get a little bit of the ERA plating of armor on the hull both the sides, a little bit on the sides, a little bit on the turn, and a little bit on the frontal upper graces of the tank. And it has two big fuel tanks in the back. Don't know if this is going to catch on fire or not. We'll see. Next tier, which will be tier 16. No, not tier 16. Tier 17. I'm sorry for that, guys. T Cinder 2 B. Again, you can see it's starting to show more of the ER plates on the turn, the upper graces, and the side of the tank. Next tank is the T-72 BM, 9,170,000 credits. This time you can tell the turns way different. It has a little bit more different ERI plates of armor. Fuel tanks in the back of the tank. And again, it's low profile, like most Russian main battle tanks are going to look like. And the last tank is the T-72 BU, which costs 10,900,000 credits. The last tank of the series. And again, you could tell it has like those red eyes on a T90. First, I thought this would honestly, I thought they would have picked a T90 to be at this tier, tier 19. To be honest, uh, I thought they would have picked at least a T90. Here's the premium tanks. This is the American T95 E3. The only problem I have for this tank is this little capoe on top. Otherwise, I think this tank might be a pretty decent medium tank to play haul down. And aside from that, if you don't give people that idea of the little capoe on top, then you basically don't have to worry about that. And this is the other thing I, I hear I like, the T-55A. Um, on World Tanks PC, this is a tank for both Russians and Germans. And here, it's a main battle tank, T-55A. It gets a 100 mil gun, and this tank's pretty cool. This is actually a tank you got into one of these seasons. Or as I'm going to call it, the campaigns. Uh, the next tanks is the T-72 Euro. It has those flaps right there, which is made to block, um, well, penetration shells like uh, heat shells and stuff, high explosive shells. That's what they're made for. But again, very sexy main battle tank. Love this tank. And the next tank, well, these, it's not really much of a real tank, is it? It's a made-up tank for the G.I. Joe series. So, but I think, in a way, it's trying to take some surface mid of the Abrams made by tank. So, it kind of, I guess, kind of have that same feeling. My friend picked this tank up because he got the campaign or the season, uh, whatever you want to call it and stuff. But, yeah. 
Next one is this. It's basically the same thing. It's just put under Cobra Cat. Uh, that's what it's called. So, don't know how this one's going to play. It's probably going to play the same way as the other one. If you want to see how this, the other one plays, go watch my friend's video. This right here is the light tank. It has a double barreled gun, which I'm thinking maybe it actually shoots out both guns. Not really sure, but this probably might be a fun thing to play. I don't know. We'll probably do a review of this tank sometime in the future. Hopefully. Next tank is the M60A1 Rise Passive. This has actually EIR plates on the turret. Get out this good bit on the sides, the front of the turret, and the front of the hull. And again, this gets a 105 mil gun. It's American main bow tank, and it even gets EOI plates on the lower graces and the upgrades too, as you can tell. Last but not least, the T62M1, which is a tank that gets EOI plates. Looks like good space armor on the upper graces, and probably not on the lower graces, but it gets that nice looking style for its turret and stuff. I think that's really nice how it gets that on the turret. But again, it's a Russian main bow tank, and it gets that 100 mil gun. A very low profile tank. Can't wait to pick this thing up too. Let's do some reviews on some of these premium tanks. I will tell you there, guys. This I am hoping this really helps you out into figuring what to do, how to preserve your money when you get into these tiers of tanks. I uh, hope you you're probably planning on saving your tier of your. Uh, credits up and stuff like that. Probably play some World War II era to get some credits so that you can get these tanks and buy them and stuff. I'm trying to find out how much the guns cost. If you're getting a fully upgraded gun which is on T44A it costs nearly 1 million credits for the last gun for that tank. So yeah that's basically a big thing for that tank. But aside from that other upgrades are a little bit cheaper 300,000 to 400,000 to maybe 500 some thousand credits I'm uh, not sure how much credits is going to be of the, the upgraded parts for the other tier that tanks so going up to tier 19 but we'll talk about that some other time and maybe in another video I just want to talk about how much these things cost so that you guys could get a theory of how much these tanks are really going to cost you so that you can make a plan of grinding this so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please press that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And please leave your comments down below, guys. And also, go check out my other video that's talking about the future of World Tanks. Let me know what you think about both this video and my other video. Thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, I hope you guys have fun. And I hope you guys stay safe. Uh, keep on tanking. And see you guys next time. Bye for now.